Hi guys, in today's video we are going to talk about problem solving development length. These are some of the questions that have been asked in uh, university question papers. Now let's look into it in detail. This is the first question. An RCC beam of 250 mm into 500 mm, that is the breadth and the depth, has a clear span of 5.5 mm. The beam is reinforced with two bars of diameter 20 mm going into the support. Factored shear force is 140 kN. Check for development length if FE 415 steel and M20 concrete are used. First, I'm going to draw the question. Okay, it's 250 Newton here. 250 mm, 500 mm has a clear span of 5.5. Nothing is mentioned. The length and width of an RCC beam is given. Effective is not mentioned. That means the depth given to us is the overall depth. Now beam is reinforced with two bars of diameter 20 mm. I've drawn 20 mm bars here. Twin, uh, two bars. Factored shear force VU is directly given to us 140 kN. Now we have to check for the development length LD. Now let's write the given details. B is equal to 250, D is equal to 500 mm, L that is uh, clear span is uh, 5500 mm when we convert meter to mm, 1 meter is equal to 1000 millimeter, number of bars is 2, VU when you convert a 1 kilo newton is equal to 1000 newton, so 1140 kilo newton is 1000, 140 into 10 raised to 3 newton. FCK that is M20 is uh, characteristic strength 20 Newton per mm square. FY is uh, steel's characteristic strength 415 uh, Newton per mm square. Now we find the area of steel provided or 2 into pi by 4 into 20 square that is 628.31 millimeter square. Okay. Here clear cover is not given to us but we can take the effective cover value which is in the IS code and uh, here I have uh, drawn out the effective cover here. The effective cover here is taken as uh, 20 mm usually in beams. Um, now effective cover is the distance from the bottom till it reaches to the tip of the bar reinforcement in my previous video we have done a question where clear cover was given to us that is that is uh, the distance clear cover is the distance from the bottom of the beam to the center centroid of the reinforcement but here it is still the tip of the reinforcement that is the effective cover so we'll, we'll find the value in the is code we are using 20 mm here now we have to find the uh, effective depth d Overall depth is given to us. We have the effective cover value 20 mm that will we get from the IS code, and we have um, diameter of the bar 20 mm, which we divided by 2. We can get, take 10, 500 minus the effective cover minus the bar reinforcement. We will get the effective depth, right? Effective depth is the depth from the top of the beam to the center of the reinforcement so we know these uh, the radius of the bar we know the effective cover and we know the overall depth that is the total depth we can subtract the effective cover as well as the diameter from the overall depth and we'll get the effective depth that is d is equal to 500 minus 20 being the 20 being the effective cover minus uh, diameter is 20 we have to use radius here only half of it is required here right it's the effective depth uh, distance is still the center of the reinforcement so that means we have to uh, reduce the radius here so diameter is given to us to find radius d by 2 20 by 2 that is 10 and we get the effective depth as 470 now we find development but before that we have to find tau bd that is the uh, bond stress this the stress that takes place on the interface of the steel and concrete now in in the is code for tau bd bond stress of concrete is the the 
we have a many stress value for different grades that is the normal stress uh, bond stress already given to us in the table but here we have to find the total to bd that is the uh, of the deformed bar as well for deformed bars we have to add with the uh, nominal shear stress we have to add 60 percent of uh, to bd of m20 that's it for deformed bars that is 1.2 plus 0.6 into 1.2 and we get 1.92 newton per m square after that we get uh, we substitute it in the formula of uh, development length 0.87 fy 5 by 4 to bd and we get 940.23 mm this is the second question calculate the development length of 16 mm of hysd bars and m30 concrete in tension as well as compression hysd bars is fe 415 steel I have drawn it out FE415 and we are using M30 concrete. Now we write the given details. Phi is 16 mm, that is the diameter of the bar. The number of bars is not given to us, but I have just drawn up just to indicate that reinforcements have been placed. Characteristic strength is 450 Newton per mm square. FCK is 30 Newton per mm square. Tau BD for concrete is 1.5 Newton per mm square. The nominal shear stress that is from the table for 30s case it's 1.5. That is the nominal shear stress in tension. We have to find the development length in tension as well as compression. Tau BD value 1.5 plus 0.25 into 1.5 is equal to 1.875. This Tau BD value that is 1.875 is used in compression. In compression development length value we substituted we substitute for OBD's case is 1.87 that is 962.8 mm now in tension LD is equal to 0 0.87 FY by 4 TOBD here the nominal bond stress in tension is directly given to us in the code that is 1.5 and so we substitute 1.5 here and we get the development length in tension as 120 I mean 1203.5 mm okay guys that's all for today i hope you understood how to um, do a problem based on development length so so with this i'm going to conclude here thank you